Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya and in today's video we need to talk about people pleasing. I think a lot of people struggle with it. We're gonna be addressing why we even feel the need to people please and how to overcome it and truly be able to be our authentic selves and for that to be enough in any situation. Instead of self-sacrificing ourselves, I will not waste any more more time, let's get right into it. Let's just talk about the word people pleaser. So we're all on the same page. People pleasing is a form of a survival mechanism that we most likely learned in childhood. Why did we feel the need to people please in childhood? Well, Usually because we grew up with either neglect, abandonment, abuse of some sort, or overbearing parents. In order for our own safety, abandon ourselves as children for the sake of getting approval from mommy and daddy. Because mommy and daddy meant our survival. They were how we survived as children. So in childhood, we learned this. We learned this coping mechanism so we could feel safe in our little bodies. Now that we are adults, you guys, we need to unlearn this patterning because it is no longer serving our adulthood. We are self-sacrificing ourselves in order to make our inner child still feel safe. So by you clicking on this video today, it is a great step in the right direction because perhaps you are well aware of, yes, yes, Maya, I am a people pleaser. I feel very self depleted when I, when I do this, but I don't know how to stop. No worries, we're gonna be addressing it today. I first wanna talk to your inner child for a moment because your inner child is the one who feels the need to continue this pattern because it never learned that he or she was enough just as she or he was. And I'm gonna tell you today that you, my dear, you just being you is enough. But you will never feel enough as a people pleaser. You will always crave this validation from others because you do not know how to give it to yourself. You would rather self-sacrifice yourself to keep maybe calm waters and to stand up for yourself to create boundaries for yourself and maybe to assert some firmness in the world to people. And these are not bad things. We associated firmness, uh, having standards, boundaries as a scary thing as a people pleaser because if we have those then that means I could hurt another person's feelings and then they won't be able to validate the part of myself that needs validating and then I'm going to be left alone with my inner child who's still really upset. Mommy and daddy never got to validate me. That's what's happening. So please, before we really dive deep into this topic, bring forth your inner child. Hold him or her while I speak because we are gonna get into this topic deeper and deeper and deeper. And we need to let our inner children know that we care about them and that they are not in the same situation that we were in as children. We cannot use our past hurts that mommy and daddy did to us in our adult life. It is not fair for you. We need to learn how to stand up for ourselves. Know that it will never, ever, ever benefit you to put yourself on the line because it's not fair. Because by you doing that, you don't realize it. You are forming resentment to people because you aren't able to be honest. Honest to them and honest to yourself. Trust me, you guys, I know. I was a people pleaser and I think I will always have some people pleasing tendencies because being a people pleaser, we are kind people. We are highly empathetic people. We are compassionate but we are those things more so to other people and not to ourselves. And that's where the issue occurs. You need to be those things for yourself first before you can fully be that to another. Because even by you giving that kindness to another, that compassion, that empathy, you are giving it to them from an empty cup. 
So it isn't actually full in itself. So I really want to be clear on, first off, you are not wrong for being a people pleaser. It is very normal being a human being, a coping mechanism, a survival tactic we needed to use as children from what circumstances we were living in. You have to be aware that that comes first of how that developed. It is always within childhood that that habit became a habit. So addressing that part in yourself of whenever you feel the need to people please, be first aware when we are doing it to break that cycle. Because if we do it just out of just like a autopilot thing that comes on where it's like, oh no, 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 my voice does not matter. Me, my opinions, they don't matter. Yours matter more than mine because you're the special one here. I, I have to live up to whatever you want because my wants will never be as great as yours. Darlings, um, I'm going to tell you this right now. Your voice, your opinions, your boundaries matter more than you know. That is the thing that will protect you. Not by you self-sacrificing your very needs, your very voice to make another person comfortable. You are doing that person a disservice also by not allowing them to fully know you. People may not like me because I don't like me. That's usually what it comes down to, you guys. You don't like yourself enough. We as adults now, we have the wherewithal to stop this pattern. Because if we continue down the cycle of just people pleasing and self sacrificing and not learning how to form boundaries and lying to other people and to ourselves, where will it get you in this life? You will live a miserable life. So it's so important, you guys, as people pleasers to fully acknowledge that we first are. So hello to you guys. I feel like in this video, there's going to be a lot of the same types of people. People who have learned that their needs come before another. Now, I actually view it. I know I've seen other people disagree within this. I personally find people pleasers as manipulators and they're not doing it intentionally. They're doing it unconsciously of manipulating outcomes to gain that other person's approval and validation because you could be around someone where you're not necessarily agreeing with them or you're not liking even how they're treating you, but you will agree to whatever, whatever they're doing in order for you to feel safe. You will misrepresent yourself to another person. Maybe it's by not showing a person who you truly are and you are manipulating the outcome of that circumstance to maybe get another person to like you by not fully being yourself or not fully speaking your truth because perhaps if you really did that, that person may not like you and that means death to a people pleaser. That means we are not safe. So because we don't feel safe within our bodies, so we will manipulate outcomes by misrepresenting ourselves to gain the certain outcome we are wanting out of that person. And this can get really tricky because we don't do it intentionally. We do it out of habit and out of safety. But we really have to be aware, you guys, we are adults now. We don't have to be in the same childhood patterning that we were in. And that patterning does not have to hold us hostage within our adult life. I'm all for having empathy for people and having having a kind heart and compassion. But what's been really crucial in my life is first honesty. Honesty with myself. Honesty of what parts of myself do I think other people won't like about me? And do I like that part of myself? Maybe I don't. Why don't I like that part of myself? Well, because that part of myself is fully authentic and I've never been authentic before in my life. So if I show people that, they're not going to like it because I don't like that part of myself because I've never been in that part of myself. So you guys, me making these videos, my people pleasing tendencies had to stop because me showing up on YouTube 
and being my full authentic self. It comes with a lot of people not liking me. Of not liking what I say. Whatever it is about me. Guess what? I had to be okay with that. I had to be okay with, okay, you don't like what I'm saying. Does that have anything to do with me not liking me? Um, no. Because I believe in myself. I believe in my, my truth and my voice. And the more I've sat with being in my full authentic expression, the easier it's become to stand up for myself, for to make boundaries with people, to let people go and to not avoid conflict, rather be in conflict in a healthy manner that firmly states my boundaries. And if someone cannot respect them, you have to allow those people to leave your life and to be okay with that. Because at the end of the day, you guys, if you are okay with yourself, if you can fully accept yourself, the need to be a people pleaser will lessen and lessen and lessen because you've been able to please yourself. How do you please yourself? By being yourself without anything stopping you from being yourself. A huge part of being a people pleaser is actually not liking who we are. And it's not that you don't like necessarily who you are. You just don't know how to be yourself. You're like a chameleon. You'll alter your your colors, you'll alter the way you look around certain specific individuals that like you a certain way. So you will fit that mold every time you're around that person to keep the peace. But every time you are changing your colors for another person, you are putting yourself secondary to that person. And that is not healthy behavior, you guys. I don't think we need to necessarily fully get rid of people pleasing because people pleasing can be very beneficial to a certain degree in our lives. To please another is a beautiful quality. I say for the most part, every single human being has these people pleasing qualities within them because we're human beings and we crave connection, we crave acceptance, we crave validation. Th these are not bad things. It comes a little dark when we have never been able to give that to ourselves. When you know gut instinct is telling you maybe something is not sitting right with you, whether it be something a person said or a situation that maybe cross some boundaries of yours and instead of you speaking out upon that so that so that habit that is happening within a person towards you can end we need to know the difference when we are self-sacrificing ourselves for another person's acceptance or validation people pleasers usually feel very unsafe in this world they feel highly on edge either around other people or when they're by themselves. Either they're showing up as inauthentic towards other people, so internally they feel very unsafe because um, whatever I'm presenting as is not who I am, so a little on edge there. And then when they're by themselves, they have never been able to fully accept themselves, so they're highly uncomfortable with just who they are. So either or, it's a lose-lose situation until we put an end to it. What will it take for you to be able to be who you are? And whoever does not like who you are, when you are just fully just being yourself and someone doesn't like it, all you have to do, it's quite simple. Say, okay, you have every right not to like me as a person. Um, but that's not gonna stop me from liking who I'm being as who I am, which is my authentic expression. So if you must leave my life, the door is that way. Close it on the way out. Bye. You don't want people in your life who don't like you. Use your voice because kind people can be walked all over. You are a doormat. People pleasers usually are doormats for other people. And then they're around other people and they're like, why do I feel so dirty after I hung out with that person? Because you allowed them to put their shoes, their dirty ass shoes on your rug. Just an analogy. That's why you feel a little dirty once they leave. 
Cause you're like, wait a second, I let that person walk all over me? No wonder I feel dirty. So we gotta stop allowing people to walk all over us by saying, hey, I don't want you to walk all over me. Stand up for yourself. You can't expect other people to stand up for you. You have to do that. You have to practice that. That is your job. Yes, it's highly uncomfortable, but you know what is more uncomfortable? Not speaking your truth and repressing it and repressing it and repressing it until it's this huge pile of shit that is hard to ignore. And then you're just living inside of shit for the benefit of another person. Mm-mm, mm-mm, baby, no, no. We gotta stop that. We've got to stop doing that. We have to. Your inner child was always enough. Your little girl, the little boy within you, that pure creation of who you are now was always, always enough. Your parents probably had just as much unhealed trauma that they were not able to deal with and they were not able to show up for you in the way that you deserved. We can't use that as an excuse any longer. It's hurting us more than it's benefiting us. So instead of practicing not being you for the sake of playing safe in this world or feeling accepted in this world, the uncomfortability that will come with just being you and by speaking your truth will be highly worth it. Because by you doing that, you're not only gifting you in your adulthood the privilege of being who you are, you are also showing the inner child within you that you were always enough. I'm sorry you felt the need to do that as a child because you knew no other way to survive in this world. I get it. But I've got you. I've got you. I'll be your protector now. And maybe you have to look at it in that way instead of doing it just for yourself. Look at it as doing it as a protector of that inner child. Keep a picture of yourself, of a little girl or a little boy around, and make that the reason you're standing up for yourself. Make that the reason to show your true authentic expression on this earth. Because we are not here on planet Earth to be anything that we are not it makes no sense. So practice your authenticity when you can. And the more you practice it, the easier and easier it will become. I think I took us to church today, you guys. I think I took us to the gospel. And I hope I spoke some truth back into you because you guys are worthy of acceptance you guys are worthy of this life and to show this earth who you are and the magnificence of you you deserve it this earth deserves it and needs it and i need it i want to see you guys show up as you and it takes some practice but do it for yourself do it for a higher reason i love you i bless you and i thank you for watching this video so if you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. Give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.